Hello, it's Marcus again with another cheat table tutorial on how to use the table to basically almost replicate anything you feel like doing. Today we're going to do one-shot weapons. Uh, one of the things I've seen on mods is you have the ability to download a weapon edited, well, weapon edited damage values that gives you the ability to basically kill anything in literally one hit, depending on what weapon it is. Now, of course, it's going to be specific to weapons, but there are mods that make almost everything possible. If with the cheat table in this case, we can replicate this feature quite easily. So there's a couple of ways we can go about doing this. Since I'm a bow user, let's just go straight for the bow. Let me just refill my items. Okay, let's look at our weapon first. So we have a bow, which does generally nothing more than 343 attack. That's bloated. It's not going to help us. That's about maybe 150 or so. Let's go ahead and go to... Not the save editor, but the weapon editor. So the weapon editor is probably the best choice. That's actually a good question to see if it even works still. It looks like it does. Go ahead and just... Um, that should be it. That's the blast bow. Alright, so it already detected it. You'll notice here's the attack. Ah, 210. I was way off. So let's go ahead and... Now this is a 2 byte value, so maximum 2 bytes basically around 65,000. That should be more than enough to one-shot any type of monster in the game. So you've basically already got your best killing damage here from the get-go. Now, of course, it's not going to show up immediately. In order for this to take effect, you're going to have to re-equip the weapon. Now, if you want to go even further over the top, you can go to the pointers, go ahead and go to item parameters, and we can go ahead and look at an item that gives you an attack boost. Uh, say, Might Seed, for example, is probably the best with 180 seconds on it. Again, it's a 2 byte value. So you can just give it, let's give it just 30,000. That should be more than enough with that on top of it. That's a 90,000 damage boost. All right, so we're going to go ahead and re-equip that weapon. Just to make sure the effects are on it. There you go. Again, bloated, 78,000 isn't what it really does. Uh, let's go ahead and post a quest. Master rank, events. I think Shara would be a perfect example of this. I mean, we could go after uh, Latrion. If I cannot find Shara. There, Shara. Okay. Got that. So generally, don't use this online. This has been stated many times. Capcom has already tried multiple attempts of anti-cheat. They still have an anti-cheat in there. There's also the CRC checks, which are not able to detect this as quickly as possible. Uh, let's see, damage is good. Now if I ate that Might Seed, it's going to boost it even more. And let's see what happens. Basic arrows are going to do... I don't know how much damage. Okay, three... Th that's a pretty decent amount, 4,000. Let's see how... Uh, generic Dragon Piercer does. Oh, didn't hit him in the right spot, that's the problem. But it made him flinch, and it seemed to have taken out quite the significant amount of HP. Right, it's not instant one-shot, because if you did have that, you would technically start healing the monster rather than killing it. But he should be shedding at some point. If I hit the head in the right spot. Dragon Pierce does about 11,000 on its own. There it goes. I don't know, that 
Okay. Go. And he's it. So there's your uh, close enough one shot kill weapons if you really want to just kill it. With basically 114,000 attack damage. And for a nifty little nitpick, you can go to the pointers, go to quest progress, speed up that timer, just set it to 36, and you're done. So that's the one-shot deal that you want to do if you really want to just kill anything. And Don't use it online, please. Don't use it with randos. They will not be happy. I... Uh, know some of you want to just get over certain monsters because they're so difficult, but at least try to beat it the normal way before going the brute force method. So that's basically it for just one-shot weapons if you really want to do that. That's, that's the two methods you have. Edit the item parameters or go ahead and just edit the weapon itself. There is another one that you can do, which is the generic bloats under the player parameters, which help you basically increase damage and remove the limit. Again, that would boost your damage even more significantly, but be careful if you go over the top. You will end up rather healing the monster than actually killing it. And that can be seen as well, if you have the overlay mods. So as always, don't be a dick, hit escape and quit, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye bye